today, eight witnesses testified in the trial of Miles Bryant, the former Doorville police officer charged with kidnapping and murdering 16 year old Susana Morales. 11 Alive's Karis Belger has been in court today where she's been all week. Karis, we know there were a few witnesses with personal connections to Bryant in court today. So what exactly did the jurors hear? Well, Bryant's mother and also his ex-girlfriend testified today, but we also heard from a woman named Alicia Bates. She said she and Bryant were childhood friends, but later on, not too long after uh, Susana Morales uh, went missing, from our understanding and according to her testimony, she said that Bryant tried to break into her apartment multiple times. Up top, um, what do you have um, Mr. Bryant saved in as your phone? Miles the stalker with an ax and a hole. Alicia Bates was one of three witnesses to testify today with a personal connection to Miles Bryant. Just friends in school. Just friends in school. Bates testified that Bryant dated a friend of hers but later attempted to get closer to her and later repeatedly tried to force his way into her apartment. During her testimony, the prosecutor presented ring camera video Bates says was from her neighbor. And in one video from October 11th, she says Bryant tried to kick in her door. But she wasn't the only person from Bryant's past to testify. The prosecution questioned Bryant's mother and ex-girlfriend as he attempted to establish a behavioral pattern. Were you and the defendant arguing that night? I want to say yes. Okay. And what, if you recall, what were you arguing about? Um, him being faithful to me. And jurors also heard from Michael Jones, an inmate in the Gwinnett County Detention Center. He discussed a conversation he had with Bryant. He says stood out. There was a conversation brought up one time. He said, man, he said, someone could get the death penalty for something like this. I said, no, nah, you got to you do something more brutal than that. And he said, well, they only got, he said, so far, they only got me charged with this one. A series of maps and images of evidence were paraded in front of the jury in between testimony as the prosecution tried to make their case. Well, court just let out in the last few minutes, and we just heard from the last witness who was a medical examiner, at least the last witness for today. Court is expected to resume starting on Monday. Back to you.